Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we have the classic X29 in 172nd scale from Hasegawa. This was a uh, US advanced technology demonstrator from the mid 80s. Uh, they built two based on an F5 frame and they're actually gonna be reissuing this fairly soon um, in the spring of 2024. So I thought it'd be a good time to have a look at it and see what's in this classic kit. So let's open it up, standard Hasegawa box art. I have, as always, opened the baggies so we can see what's inside. Everything was in a single bag, but it does look like the canopies and whatnot are in a separate one. And there is some uh, decals, etc. So let's start with the paperwork. Namely the, uh, like I said, the classic kit with the standard set of instructions. It shows some comparisons uh, of the X-29 to other aircraft. Fairly simple build instructions for the period. Simplified cockpit, etc. You can build it with the uh, canopy either opened or closed and it does come with a boarding ladder. And then the backs devoted to the marking and painting for the number one aircraft that uh, Grumman built. We've also got a standard for the time. This is a reissued of the from Hasegawa for some correct methods of applying decals, all the normal warnings, etc. And then there's the decal sheet, fairly attractive looking if you want to do it as the uh, test aircraft, which is the NASA one. There we go. Okay, let's open it up and have a look. Fairly simple and low part count, as I said. Um, here is the canopy, two parts. I haven't opened it, but you get the idea. Looks like it's in good shape. That's the only clear parts with the aircraft. And then we have a grand total of three sprues. So let's go through these. So the first one is the left-hand side of the aircraft, landing gear, the cockpit, tub, etc. The left-hand uh, tail and the uh, wings. Then we have the exhaust nozzle. The other one features the right hand side of the aircraft, the other wing, and some of the leading edge, the engines and that, the seat, the front landing gear, etc. And then the other one is the boarding ladder, the landing gear, etc. So not much to this kit. This is, will be a fairly short video, but all sorts of ideas you can do. I can see an RCAF what if in my future with this one. But again, the classic kit, they are reissuing it. Could be a fun build. You can do all sorts of what if schemes. So once again, this is the X-29, 172nd scale from Hasegawa, item number B13. As always, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel. There will be a full photo set of all the sprues, all three of them, on blackfire.ca. And don't forget as well to check the Scale Model podcast. Thank you and be well.